In the previous class, we have discussed about rational numbers and some important properties of rational number. Here, in this part, we are going to discuss exercise 1a. First question, express minus 64 upon 112 as a rational number with denominator 7. So, on dividing, 112 by 7 will get the quotient 16. Now, if I divide the rational number, that is minus 64 by 16 and 112 by 16, we'll get the answer as minus 4 by 7. Next question, express minus 48 by 60 as a rational number with denominator 25. This question is similar to question number 1. You can solve it on your own. Next, question number 3, express each of the following rational numbers in standard form. Now, if we want to express any number in standard form, that means we have to reduce it to its lowest term. That is, there will be no common divisor except 1. So the first part is minus 12 upon 30. So on dividing 6 from both the numerator and denominator, we'll get minus 2 by 5 and we can clearly see that 2 and 5 has no common divisor except 1. Hence, this is the standard form. Now, question number 3, part 4. Question is minus 36 upon minus 63. Now, if I cancel both the negative sign, since both numerator and denominator is having negative sign, it will get cancelled and will get a positive rational number. Now, 36 and 63, both are multiples of 9. If we divide 9 from both the numerator and denominator, we'll get the answer in standard form. That is 4 by 7. Question number 4. Compare the following pairs of rational number. That is 15 by 32 and 17 by 24. If you can remember the third property which we have discussed in the previous class, where there are two rational numbers and we can cross multiply the numbers. So here we'll do the same thing. First we will cross multiply the numbers and then compare them. So on one hand we'll get 15 into 24 that is 360. On the other hand we'll multiply 17 and 32 that is 544. We can clearly see that 360 is less than 544. Hence, on comparing, we can say that 15 by 32 is less than 17 by 24. Number 3, minus 5 by 12 and minus 3 by 4. So, it's similar to the above question. First, we'll cross multiply the numbers. So, on one hand, we'll get minus 5 into 4, that is minus 20. On the right hand side, minus 3 into 12 that is minus 36. Now since both are negative terms or negative integers and we know that in negative integer the lowest number is the highest one. So here minus 20 is greater than minus 36. Hence minus 5 by 12 is greater than minus 3 by 4. Now moving on to question number 5. Arrange in ascending order. Now see here some of the rational numbers are given or you can say some fractions are given and these fractions have different denominators. So very first thing which we'll do is we have to convert all these numbers into equivalent fractions. So to convert this into equivalent fractions first we have to find the LCM of all the denominators. So the LCM of 6, 9, 12 and 18 is 36. Now to convert each of this number to the denominator as 36. So what we'll do is like 5 by 6 is the number. So to convert 6, the denominator 6 into 36, we have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 6. Similarly, if the number is 7 by 9, to convert 9 into 36, we have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 4. So in this way, we have converted all the above fractions into equivalent fractions. 
and we got that 26 and we have arranged all the numbers in ascending order that is 26 by 36 is less than 28 by 36 is less than 30 by 36 is less than 33 by 36 now this much is not enough we have to convert this equivalent terms into the original fractions which is given in the question so this is given as the answer next question number six represent each of the following numbers on the number line the first part is five by six now students see here five by six is a proper fraction that means if you divide five by six and you find the answers in decimal will get zero point something that means the point five by six lies in between zero and plus one since it's a positive integer so the point lies between zero and plus one now how to find out the point five by six since the denominator is six we will divide the part in between zero and one into six divisions so the number line from zero to one is divided into six equal parts the sixth part should lie on one and counts will start the counting from the left hand side to the right hand side so you can clearly see i have marked one two three four and sixth point is on number one since we have we want five by six so count one two three four fifth fifth point on the number line in between zero to one and that is our answer second one minus 17 by 5 now minus 17 by 5 is an improper fraction thus we can convert it into a mixed fraction which is minus 3 by minus 3 2 by 5 now this minus 3 is indicating that the number in the number line the point which we have to mark will be in between minus 3 and minus 4 and this 2 by 5 is indicating that we have to mark this point 2 by 5 in between minus 3 and 4. Now we'll start marking 1, 2, 3 means uh, the denominator is indicating that there will be 5 divisions in between minus 3 and 4 and we have to mark the second point in this number line. So, we'll start marking from the right hand side to the left hand side. As you can see, I have marked 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the second point in between minus 3 and minus 4 is the answer. I hope it's clear to you. In case you have any doubt, you can ask. Next, question number 7. State whether it's true or false. So, every whole number is a rational number. It's true because I've discussed zero is also a rational number as well as all natural numbers are rational numbers. Number two, every integer is a rational number. This statement is also correct because we have already discussed my negative integers, zero and positive integers. All are rational numbers. Number three, two by three can be written two plus four by three plus four. Well, this statement is incorrect because in the properties which we have discussed we can multiply the same number to the numerator and denominator or we can have a common divisor but there was no addition or subtraction second point is that if we add the numbers this won't form an equivalent rational number hence the statement is incorrect Number four, minus five by six is less than minus six by five. So first we have to solve it. We can cross multiply the numbers and compare. That is minus five into five is minus 25 and minus six into six is minus 36. We can clearly see that minus 25 is greater than minus 36. Thus, minus five by six is greater than minus six by five. But the question is saying that minus five by six is less than minus six by five. Hence, the statement is 
false. Number five, minus three by four, minus three divided by minus four is a negative rational number. Now see, both numerator and denominator is having a minus sign, and this sign will get cancelled. Hence, we'll get a positive rational number. Hence, the statement is false. Number six, zero is a whole number, but it is not a rational number. Well, the first part is correct that zero is a whole number, but we also know that zero is a rational number. So we can see that the second part is incorrect. Hence, the statement is false. I hope this part is clear to you. I'll see you in the next class. Thank you.